Yo, what is up guys, Miles here. Today, I am here for a Stardew Valley tutorial video. Oh yeah. Now guys, I recently have been playing Stardew Valley a lot. I have almost 50 hours on this game. It is very addicting, super fun. And I'm here for a tutorial video for you guys because I thought you guys might want to know this information if you are playing the game for yourself, as some of you may be. Alright, also guys, Here's a little Easter egg. Hit this E ten times, and out pops a little alien guy. <laughs> Just a funny Easter egg. I saw that on YouTube. Pretty cool. But yeah, let's boot up our character and head right into our world. Come on, buddy. Load faster. Character takes a while to load for some reason. There we go. Miles on the great farm. And guys, I'm going to show you how to get some easy money in winter. Uh, of Stardew Valley. So, this is my very first winter year, uh, winter year one, and honestly, there's not really much to do. You can go down to the mines, but I've already completed them. You can also go down to the school mines, but honestly, I'm too lazy to go do that. And also your animals. Uh, oh yeah, if you have any crops, it doesn't really take that long to water them. You just gotta, like, if you have a good watering can, you just need to spend hardly any energy doing it. So, I mean, if you have any crops at all, it's not going to be much energy used. You can also just clear out your farm, but that's pretty boring. And it doesn't um, get really get you any money. So, let me just show you a pretty easy way to get some money. And it requires using your hoe. Oh yeah, these guys are too young to get any milk. But these go, yeah, oops, there we go. Alright, so this is an easy way to get money on the winter of Stardew Valley, like I just said. So yeah, you can pretty much... Um, farm for your animals, but I mean, you're not really gonna get much from that. You might get some uh, mayo from that, but honestly, I don't really think it's worth it that much. Are any, any of you guys five stars yet? No, none of you are five stars. Let's feed you, feed you guys up real quick. Pop some of that down. Okay, see you guys. All right, there we go. Now this involves using your hoe, so you're gonna have to get a pretty upgraded hoe. This one is a gold hoe, so it is very useful. You can go in a 3x3 three three radius, which is very helpful. Let's see, is one, yeah, I already gave her some gifts. I'm Gail, my girlfriend. Gotta marry her soon. So this does require a little bit of energy, but I doubt you'll use up all your energy. And the ideal to do the place to do the, the ideal place to do this is at the beach, just because there's tons of open land. And what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm going to till all of this land like this. I think it'll work on here. No, it doesn't work on there. Can you till that? No, you can't till that. All right, well, I'll just go to the beach and I will show you guys. All right, here we go at the beach. <clears throat> oh yeah, you can also just pick up a couple of these if you want. Let me just really quickly move that up there. There we go. And the quarry, I was really close to unlocking it, but let's go down to here, the craft room. I need one common mushroom. <laughs> There's one common mushroom because then I can just easily go buy some wood and just plop it down in there. But I need that one mushroom. Another tip, guys, is just save your stuff. Don't sell it right away. Save it until you get a duplicate and then you can sell it. So, this involves um, using your hoe like that. And look, you get snow yams and you also get winter roots. These things can sell for quite a lot, actually. And they are very useful. Um, you can use them in the crafts room and the community center. Uh, it's pretty easy to, to get rid of all the snow if you have a pretty upgraded hoe like I do, a gold hoe. So you pretty much just got to do all this. Um, get tons of uh, uh, winter roots and snow yams. I'm also growing some using winter seeds that I got from a reward in the community center. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I will just quickly farm up all of this beach and I'll show you guys when I'm done, how much you get? See you guys in a second. Also guys, the ideal place to do this is probably in the in the quarry. <clears throat> just because you have so much open space there, but like I told you guys, I think I already told you guys this, but yeah, I just need that one mushroom, which is really annoying. It's kind of sad. Hey there, little wormy. You're gonna die. Got some clay. That's pretty good. Alright, once again, see you guys when this is all cleared out. And there we go guys, this is pretty much all cleared out. And as you can see, I did get 17 winter roots and 22 snow yams. 
Oh no, yeah, so let's see how much they sell for. They sell for uh, forging item chef chips right here. Um, so yeah, so they sell for 100. So just in, and they sell for 70. So just in snowyams, we made 2,200 dollars. He sell for 70. So that's roughly 1,400 dollars, about maybe 1,200 dollars. I'm trying to be a little bit more exact. But yeah, that's you can pretty much just do that. And I haven't even really used all my energy yet, so let's start doing it on this. Oops, that's a watering can. <laughs> don't want to water this thing. Nothing will get rid of it. Yeah, so you can just keep doing this. Get tons of money. So you're going to get, at least, like, with all your other stuff, like, if you have crops or maybe you have animals. Um, you probably do have animals if you're in the winter <coughs> of your what? <coughs> Sorry for my voice there. But anyways, yeah, you'll probably have animals, so you can also just sell the animal products along with all your, like, your winter roots and snowyams. But this is just a really efficient way to get money because you can just keep doing it every single day because the snow replenishes every day. So yeah, you will get a roughly, like, I don't know, maybe 5k. If you do it in the quarry, you can get even more, maybe, because it's even bigger. But here, the beach is probably one of the more ideal places just because it's very open. Not a lot of obstacles that you just have to worry about. You mostly just have to keep hitting all this snow down. And yeah, that's, that's just pretty much the basics, guys. I'm going to clear out the rest of the beach. And I'll see you guys in a second. Also, guys, when you are attempting this, be sure to have a pretty upgraded um, hoe because it can be very tedious if you are using a, a regular old hoe just because you have to click every single time. But like this, you can just do it every 3x3 three three spot, which is really amazing. Alright, I'd say this is pretty cleared out enough. Let's just get one more, one more big 3x3. Three three. There we go. Alright, nothing from that though. A little bit annoying, but that's alright. Now let's head down here, grab our crab pots. And guys, guess what? If you want to do a, um, a let's play series on this, creating a new character, new world, maybe even a tips video, or maybe just some more uh, videos in general. It doesn't have to be a let's play. Hit that like button down below. You guys, every single like and comment and subscribe I check every single day you guys make my day if you subscribe I love to see new subscribers it just makes my heart feel so good when I see that I'm giving people information and that or just fun games and they really like it so that's why I say subscribe so yeah that's why I really like it so it's still about 4 or sorry not 420 <laughs> 420 it's 520 but now it's 530 no trash there but yeah, let's go see what Pierre's up to. Um, yeah, he's just restocking, looks like. Hey there, buddy, how you doing? Is it me or is it a cold draft? Uh, I think it might be just you. I don't really feel any cold drafts, at least. Well, I'm wearing like a cap and short sleeve shirt, so I don't know. <laughs> is there a draft? <laughs> Alright, um, I got some pretty good lobsters from that, actually. And look at all this. We got some snow amps and some winter roots. Lots of them, too. This is. About three thousand dollars in this, fourteen hundred dollars. So, then is almost. I'd say if I sell like all my coral and all the other stuff I got, that would be about five thousand dollars. So it's really amazing, guys. You can get about five thousand dollars a day just doing that. It's a little bit tedious, so if you want to switch it up, you can go fishing for the day, or if you have <clears throat> unlocked the bus stop, buy a ticket for five hundred gold and just go to the desert mine and the skull mine. Get some pretty good loot there. I hear they have to go pretty deep to get iridium, which is highest tier ore after gold. So yeah, I um, I, just, I need iridium pretty badly. So there you go, guys. That is pretty much the um, the I almost said uh, Terraria tutorial video. That is pretty much the Stardew Valley tutorial video. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button down below, subscribe, and yeah, actually. I'm going to cut right to you where I sell, where I get the message that all my stuff got sold. I'll see you guys in a second. So there you go, guys. This is all the catch I made. Look at this. I made so much money. $5,300 just on foraging. 800 bucks on fishing. 565 on farming. And we made a solid total of 6300 gold today. Which is really amazing. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hit that like button down below and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Later guys.